Welcome back everyone to the Future Ready Storage. It's Redefining the Data Center. I'm John Furrier, Dave Vellante, kicking off the program with welcome remarks. Dennis Canelli, General Manager of IBM Storage. Dennis, thanks for coming on theCUBE. Appreciate you coming on, kicking off the Future Ready Storage event. Thank you, Dave, and delighted to be here. And uh, welcome to everybody on the CUBE event. I think we're all over the planet, so I don't know whether to say good morning, good evening, or good afternoon, but uh, welcome everybody and delighted to be on. Yeah, we got live stream all over the world with watch parties in Atlanta, London, and Istanbul. Let's get it going. So let's get, let's get your perspective, kicking us off. What is the current state of IT from your perspective? We're seeing the modernization, you're seeing the cyber resilience needed needs out there. You're seeing the AI demand from developers. IT budgets are kind of being looked at really hard right now to, to kind of set the table for the future. What's your perspective on the IT landscape? Yeah, I mean, I think you kind of nailed it. We're kind of the top three trends we're seeing out there. If we were having this conversation maybe two years ago, we'd be talking a lot about digital transformation, uh, cloud app development, uh, building new services, rapid scale and innovation. The cyber threat is continuous. It doesn't go away, unfortunately, and it's something that we have to plan for and manage every day in this business and because we are in the business of safeguarding the world's data. And of course, if you go back in the last 12 months, you know, foundation models, generative AI has hit us as an industry. And these are wonderful innovations, but very disruptive. Uh, and in terms of, uh, and when you put yourself in the customer shoes, which I like to do all the time, start to think about this from a customer perspective, how can you take advantage of all these wonderful disruptions of technology and innovations? While on the dilemma that the customer faces is, you know, I have my existing spend and IT infrastructure and supporting existing applications and infrastructure, and how can I rapidly evolve to take advantage of these wonderful innovations? And that is the crux of the, of the problem facing many clients today. And really what I'm really excited about and what we're doing here in IBM Storage is really helping address that, that what I call dilemma uh, within the storage industry. Because uh, if I look at the storage industry over the last number of years, it, frankly, you know, it has been one of the things that I would say that has been challenged in terms of really embracing some of these newer innovations and what we're really setting out to do in terms of what we're driving in IBM Storage. You know, Dennis, John and I were talking earlier and I'd like to get your perspectives on this. You have these countervailing effects of you've got the macro, the, the spending is, is not growing at the top line and yet everybody wants to fund Gen AI. Our, our survey data shows that about 40% of customers tell us that they're stealing from other budgets in order to fund their Gen AI. At the same time, they want to modernize, they want to be cloud native, but security is still critical and they have to fund security. So you have all these different forces and yet the top line you know, budgets aren't just growing. The CFO is not just opening up the checkbook. So how do you help customers maintain that sort of budget constraint you know, within that envelope, but still get ready for the future and have efficient infrastructure? What are you doing there specifically? Yeah, and that is the fundamental challenge because as you said, budgets are not growing overall. There's a shift going on to actually drive these new innovations. And if I look at storage and I kind of, we've stepped back and looked at storage over, you know, many, many years. I've been in the industry many decades, right? And the, the life in storage tends to be what I call box centric. You know, we look at the box, we say, well, I'm going to procure a box. It has to have these attributes that comes in, storage size or capacity, performance. And we tend to look at it as an industry over the lifetime of that, that asset, you know, in financial terms, usually four to five years. So it's a very constrained and a very static view of the world. Now you 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 take that and you you juxtapose that against what is going on out there, right? So you have AI, you have applications, big cloud native, data moving and being transformed right across the environment. So you have this, what I call a dilemma going on between these two uh, functions that are kind of pulling at each other. So what we are doing in IBM storage is really challenging that status quo, really looking at, well, why is it a box centric world, right? I mean, at the end of the day, you have to put, uh, deploy physical hardware. I understand that. But you know, when, when you're in a, a customer's shoes and the difficult dilemma they have to make is, okay, I'm making a purchasing decision over the next four to five years. I mean, if you look back over the last two years alone in terms of disruption, right, that looks like a lifetime in the IT industry. So how can you realistically be able to forecast what it's going to look like over the next five years? And this is where our customers have huge challenges. 
yeah, I make an investment decision today and I say I buy a, a storage device and I want to do X, Y, Z. And then you know, like two, two years into that, that we'll say that lifetime, that five-year lifetime, you realize, oh, I need more capacity. I need to go back to the vendor or it doesn't meet my performance needs or I have some new AI program that I need to increase the IOPS. Now, all of a sudden, that decision you made two years ago becomes really costly in terms of what I need to do next. And what we are doing fundamentally underpinning that is something called storage assurance, where we are guaranteeing over up to an eight-year life cycle, and, and the, the team will go through this in detail, the investment decisions that you are making and giving you full flexibility. Now, people will say, okay, is that storage as a service? We have all those offerings like storage as a service, et cetera, as well. But this is very much looking at the lifetime of the asset and really coming to meet the customer where they need us and, and being available to the customer. Now, the other thing, you know, when I think about a box-centric view, right, so you, I talk about four or five years. So I talked about some of the challenges that happened maybe a couple of years into it, into it. But at the end of the day, the lifetime of the platform is that final period. And what happens at the end of it? Do I go through that difficult cycle all over again where I actually have to plan again and actually uh, do all the things that we're doing up front. And then secondly, how do I take that data that was on the thing that I bought five years ago and move it to this new thing, right? And that's a very, very disruptive. And these kind of some of the hidden challenges that clients face. Uh, and with another piece of technology, something we call flash grid, we're getting away from this box centric world, right? And looking more at storage as pools of storage and giving customers full flexibility. So I think with two things, right? With one, with storage assurance, I'll give you that lifetime uh, guarantee. And two, being able to, the technology that underpins that, because, you know, you really have to have, think about the end of the life cycle and what happens next. And we can enable that with some real innovation that we've done in our portfolio with something we call Flash Grid. Janice, talk about that, that aspect. We have a couple minutes left. The IT departments are changing. The consumption's changing. You mentioned some of the things you're doing, moving from box-centric world to much more of a abstract, data-driven world, distributed. But you're you, you still got storage. You still got the boxes in there. You got to have that available. But the energy now is on the AI, AI side, and you're seeing the innovation really fast moving. But it also creates risk. So you got operational costs, and you got risk on AI if they don't hit it. This is changing the IT struggle right now. Can you share your insights into what customers are doing there, real quick, on their IT perspective? Because now they're saying, hmm. I got risk, but I also got pressure to innovate. This is shifting the mindset and also how they're going to deploy and consume the storage for their data. Yeah, I mean, I think risk, well, risk first of all comes first and foremost in the data itself, right? And being able to protect that data. And when I look at, you know, data protection or data resilience, right? And I look right across the landscape, what customers are really challenged with is, look, uh, everybody buys primary storage, they buy secondary storage or backup and archive. We've copies of data everywhere, right? But the challenge is, can we really prove to ourselves and now to regulators and to a lot of the regulations that are coming into place that I can recover that data within the SLA that I actually need? And a lot of what we're doing right now within the, within the products itself is helping with that basically detection and then fast recovery of that data. Um, so that's critical, that's foundational to everything we do in storage, in IBM storage. And one, one of the things we very much lead on is core to our products. And then, you know, I think the other piece of it is the financial risk, right? The financial risk and investment. You, you talked about uh, IT budgets being flat, but yet you cannot afford a risk not being at the forefront of innovation and losing ground to your competitors. And by the, some of the flexibility that we've built into our storage portfolio that you're going to hear about from the team, Hopefully you can see how we're mitigating some of that risk for our clients. Dennis, thanks so much for kicking off the event with the welcome remarks and, and laying out the landscape and the opportunities that your customers have and enterprise have to kind of redefine and, and future ready their storage environment. Really appreciate you taking the time to kick it off and, and uh, kick off this great program. We've got Sam Warner, VP of Product Management coming up next. He's standing by here in the live performance here in Palo Alto with watch parties all around the world. Thanks for coming on, kicking it off. Appreciate it guys, and thanks for having me on. And uh, you're going to hear a lot more about from Sam around the strategy and the innovation that I talked about, and he's going to put, put meat on the bones that I've talked about, but uh, delighted well, to be here. Thank you guys. All right, we appreciate it. General Manager of Admin Storage, Dennis here on theCUBE. We'll be back with more right after this short break with Sam.